All right, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have another FIFA 20 player Kind of thing where we're taking a look at certain players yesterday. We did like the top I think it was like nine uh, Cheapest Premier League overpowered players go check out go check it out It should be the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen Go ahead and click on it go ahead and watch it So you guys can go ahead and see which players are going to be best for you in the beginning of the game Since they're all going to be relatively cheap and very very good uh, players in the game considering I've played the FIFA 20 game already um, So I kind of base it off of that but today we're gonna be taking a look i believe it is at the top 10 highest rated premier league players in the whole league in the whole game whatever as base gold cards now i'm gonna have two different designs in the thumbnail they're all going to be the same design but i made some of the cards earlier and then i made some of the cards today so it's going to be a bit different but we're gonna get into this if you guys want to keep watching more of these make sure you drop a like on this video we can hit 15 likes that'd be amazing Let's get into the video. So we're going to start off with the lowest rated of the top 10. And we actually get into the 88 rated because there's not that many 89 rated players. Um, so we're going to go into the 88. And we're going to start off with Mohamed Salah, who, of course, was one of the golden boot winners, one of the three African golden boot winners uh, for last season's Premier League. Um, had, had a pretty solid season. A lot of people said he didn't. It was going to be hard to live up to the first season he had, of course, at Liverpool. But um, in my opinion, deserves to be an 88 rated, deserves a couple boosts here and there. And he looks like he's going to be, again, one of the best uh, wingers in the game um, for the cu first couple months, at least, depending if he has a three or four star weak foot. Um, but that's going to be that. Moving on to the next player, we have Alisson now. Now, of course, he started off last year as an 85, got upgraded to an 87, and then got upgraded to an 80, or stayed as an 87, got a team of the season, won the Champions League, um, won a bunch of stuff, and in my opinion, deserves to go up to an 88, um, as I feel like that's a good spot for him to sit at, as he had uh, a very, very, very good season and won the Copa America as well with Brazil. Going into the third player, we have Christian Eriksen. This is where we get into the 89s and the different card design. Now, he... Has an 88 rated gold card in 19. I feel like after getting so many special cards um, and w just getting a team of the season, <laughs> winning no trophies, um, still deserves to be an 89, deserves that upgrade. Um, his future still kind of uh, like interesting because he kind of want to move. He kind of want to moves away, but he only wants to go to Real Madrid. But Real Madrid don't want him right now, so it's kind of confusing. But in my opinion, he's going to stay in the prem. He's going to get an upgrade, and he's going to get many, many more special cards for Spurs. So that's going to be that. And then moving on to the next one. We have N'Golo Conte, who's going to stay as an 89, um, but he's going to have a position change from CDM to center mid, as that is where he mostly played last season under um, Maurizio Sarri. So. In my opinion, Conte should get like a pace in defending upgrade, something like that, um, and then maybe even physical. I boosted just his stats here and there, um, as I don't feel like he deserves that 90 rated to be the highest rated player. Like he's without a doubt Chelsea's best player, but in my opinion, um, he just deserves like the stats upgrades. 89 is right where he should be. And then moving on to the final player in the like the in the sixth place spot, I should say, is Raheem Sterling, who um, is another 89 rated player. I think he started off as an 80 586 in 19 and then got upgraded to an 87 and I feel like after winning the young player of the year He deserves to go to an 89 man. This guy has progressed so so much since he first transferred to Manchester City for a big amount of money Definitely was worth it now that we look at it in hindsight, but man, he's gonna be a very nice card and it's very very likely that he does win the player of the month uh, for August moving on to the fifth player We have David De Gea who has a big big downgrade from a 91 to an 89 <laughs> He deserves this I'm not gonna lie United didn't have the greatest of seasons. I believe he conceded a bunch, a bunch of goals. Um, not saying that that's necessarily all his fault, but he still didn't have a great season. Like he didn't win United points as he has in previous seasons. Had a very bad start to the season as well, especially against Crystal Palace, where Van Antholt just kind of embarrassed him. And then. He just deserves to be an 89 right now, man. He doesn't live up to the 91 rated, and I feel like 89 is right where he should be, so that's going to be that. And then moving on to the next player, we have Kevin De Bruyne, who I have downgraded from 91 to a 90, not because he had a bad season or he's gotten worse or whatever, just because he... he he was injured most of the time, and when he, when he wasn't injured, he was kind of still trying to find his groove, trying to get back in form, but now that he has started the season, he is disgusting. Uh, but I feel like being 90 rated um, 
is the right where he should be because everyone on this list from here on, I'm just going to say, is 90 rated. He should be 90 rated as well. I don't feel like he deserves necessarily the highest rated player in the Prem when he kind of was injured. So I feel like 90 rating would be very, very good for him to sit at. And then we move on to the third player. We have Harry Kane, um, who deserves it. 90 rated has had so many great seasons, season after season. Yes, he was injured, but before he was injured and after he was injured, he scored goals. So I feel like for Spurs, um, he deserves to keep that 90 rating. Um, and yeah, man, he's going to be, a, I, I don't know how good he's going to be because heading physical isn't too important in uh, FIFA 20. I would say physical is more important than heading. Heading doesn't really work that well anymore, um, but he's going to be an okay card. Next up is going to be Sergio Aguero. Let's move this face cam over here. Uh, Sergio Aguero, 90 rated now. He deserves that boost. I feel like this is going to be his final highest rated card ever in FIFA. Just because he's, he's getting a bit on the older side, he's going to still score goals. In my opinion, right now, at this moment in time, he is the best pure number nine like goal scorer in the world. He's just been playing so, so well for City, um, scoring so many goals against especially the top six and deserves to be um, one of the highest rated players in the Prem. Uh, so yeah, he has to be the, the highest rated player uh, for like the forwards, I would say, at least next to Harry Kane. And then final player that we do have is going to be none other than the guy who deserves it the most, in my opinion, is Virgil van Dijk, um, who's going to be a 90 rated card. He could go up to a 91, but boost him from an 88 to a 91 is pretty big um he won the champions league with only real trophy i mean and he won the player of the year yes which is huge as well boosting him from he started off as an 85 he got boosted to an 88 and then boosting him to a 91 would be too big i feel like 90 rated putting him at the top next to aguero kane and de bruyne these four guys in my opinion is right where he should be and that's what he deserves um and he's gonna be one of he's he's just gonna be the best center back in the game man he's gonna be so annoying to play against and he's gonna be very very expensive probably throughout the whole year but yeah guys these are the top 10 uh prem highest rated premier league players in the game and man these guys are all gonna be very very good in game i would say the only one that's not gonna be too usable is gonna be harry kane um depending how you do play but everyone apart from here everyone on this list will be usable for literally until january february march and they will all be very good in game and especially if they get informs which most of these guys most likely will um then well you're gonna be able to use them as well but yeah guys this is whirlwind video i hope you guys enjoy leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you guys next video have a nice day and i'm out